Welcome to the world of Microsoft Business Intelligence. So the agenda of the video is why MSBI, what is MSBI, MSBI features, MSBI components, MSBI demo, and MSBI job prints. So let's begin with why MSBI. Data volumes are growing, and the pace of that growth is exponential. Sensor data, log files, social media, and other sources have emerged, bringing in volume, velocity, and variety of data that far outstrips traditional data warehousing approaches. Forward-looking organizations are harnessing these new sources in creative ways to achieve unprecedented value and competitive edge. So did you actually know that something similar has been done at Infosys? So Infosys is a global leader in consulting, technology, outsourcing, and next-generation software services. They have clients in more than 50 countries, and to stay ahead of emerging business trends and outperform the competition, what Infosys needed was an analytics system that could provide real-time data for business insights. But when it came to analytical reporting, Infosys was using the traditional process of synchronization of data from core OLTP systems to enterprise data warehouse systems. And once the data was transformed, cleansed, and denormalized, canned reports were being generated for business analytics use. With large ETL packages typically running once a day, this analytical data had a time lag of one day. And businesses demanded gaining real-time insights into the data to take crucial business decisions based on real-time. So to fulfill their need, Infosys started using the power of Microsoft Business Intelligence. So what is MSBI? MSBI stands for Microsoft Business Intelligence. This powerful suit is composed of tools which help in providing best solutions for business intelligence and data mining queries. It empowers users to gain access to accurate and up-to-date information for better decision-making in an organization. It offers different tools for different purposes, which are required in business intelligence solutions. MSBI makes business intelligence available to everyone through deep integration with Microsoft Office, providing the right tool to the right user at the right price. Employees at all levels of an organization can see and help to influence the performance of the business by working with tools that are both easy to use and powerful. So now we'll look at some of the key features of MSBI. MSBI includes several features that make it easy and inexpensive to implement business intelligence and data warehousing. These features include reporting, data management, and analytic data storage. So it creates high-performance analysis service solutions with improved cube designers. It implements more responsive reporting service solutions through enhancements to on-demand processing and instance-based rendering. It builds flexible and effective reports with the new tables data structure and rich formatting capabilities. It enables business users to build ad hoc reports with any structure by using the powerful report designer. It supports multiple servers without performance loss. And it also delivers reports in the format preferred by most end users by using the new and enhanced reporting services. For example, you can use Microsoft Office Word as a format for reports. Now we'll look at MSBI components. Microsoft has created a powerful suite comprising of a set of tools which help in providing best solutions for business intelligence. MSBI is a part of SQL Server, which uses a part of SharePoint services. In SQL Server data tool, there are other different tools available for different processes as needed for BI solutions. This MSBI Visual Studio data tool comes with SQL Server. MSBI is categorized in three parts available in SQL Server data tool. These three steps are useful in performing business intelligence activity. SSIS or SQL Server Integration Services it is an integration tool. It is useful in collecting information or data in different formats from various locations and gathering it to a centralized location. It performs three important tasks which are extraction, transformation and loading. It is an enterprise tool for data integration through data extraction, data transformation and data loading. Then we have SSAS or SQL Server Analytical Services. So it is an analytical tool which is used to analyze the centralized stored data we need to use SQL Server Analysis Services. Analysis Service uses OLAP or Online Analytical Processing component of MS SQL Server and data mining capabilities. SSAS helps to create OLAP cubes 
that is multi-dimensional array of data using data from data warehouse and to build mining models for deeper and faster analysis. Next is SSRS or SQL Server Reporting Services. It is a graphical generating software system from Microsoft. After analyzing data properly as we saw in SSAS, now it's time to present data graphically using SSRS. Graphically presented data is necessary for an organization to make an effective decision. Use of SSRS tool is to develop, design, test and generate reports. So now it's finally time to head on to the demo part. So now for this demo we'll be implementing the SSIS and SSRS parts. So our first task would be to import records into an already existing table. So let's have a look at this table first. So I'll type select star from student. Let me execute this. So we see that we already have a student table over here where there are three students, Sam, Bob, and Dan. Now into this table, I would want to add three more records which are stored in a notepad. So this is our source file, which comprises of the rest of the three records. So the next three students would be Julia, Jeff, and Matt. So what I want to do is, I would want to add these three records into the existing student table. So let's go ahead and implement that using SSIS. So for that, we need something known as SQL Server Data Tools. Right. So our first task would be to open a new project. And uh, since we are working with the integration service, that is we would want to load records from a source file into an already existing table in our database. So for this, let me create a new integration service project. I'll click on OK over here. Right, so these are the components of SSIS. And uh, for this demo, we'll mostly be working with data flow. That is our task is to take the data from the source and put it in the destination. So let's go ahead and do that. So for this, our first task would be to use the source assistant. And with the help of the source assistant, we can bring in the source data file. And since our source data file is a flat file, I'll select this, I'll click on new. I'll click on OK. And then I'll select my file. Right, so my file is stored in the desktop. Let me just type student over here. Let me select this. Let me have a look at the columns. All right, so these are our three records which are present in the source file. OK. And I'll again click on OK. Right, now we'll drag the destination assistant and put it over here. Since our destination is an SQL server, I'll select this. I'll click on new. Let me click on OK. Now it's time to give the server name over here. So let's go ahead and see what a server name is. I'll right click over here, click on properties to get the server name. So I'll select the server name from over here. And I'll paste it. All right, I'll use SQL server authentication, give the username which is SA and I'll type in my password. Now I'll select the database. So the database is Sparta. I'll test the connection and you see that the test connection has succeeded. I'll click on OK. I'll again click on OK. All right. Now I'll give the connection from the flat file to the destination. All right. Let me again double click on this. All right. Now it's time to select the table from the database. So we'll select the student table. Let us see the mappings. So we see that these are the mappings. So this is the source and this is the destination. ID from source has been mapped to ID in table. ID from name has been mapped to name. Right, so over here we see that the name of subject 3 is sub 3. And over here the column is S underscore sub 3. So let's map this properly. So I'll put sub 3 over here and I'll map this to S underscore sub 3. Right, so all of the mappings have been done correctly. I'll click on OK. Right. Now it's time to execute this. So this is our package over here. I'll right click on this and I'll click on execute package. We see that both the tasks have been done successfully. Right now let's go to our database and check if the records have been stored or not. So let me run the same command now. Right, so we see that the next three records have also been inserted. So initially we just had Sam, Bob and Dan. Now with the help of SSIS, we have inserted three more records of Julia, Jeff and Matt. 
So this was SSIS. Now we'll also see how to use SSRS. So let's go ahead and do that. So SSRS is used to report or visualize our data. So let me close this now. So I'll be using the same student table and do some reporting on it. What I'll do is I'll click on new, I'll click on new project. It's time to do some reporting. So I'll select this, I'll click on OK. So now I'll select shared data sources. I'll right click it. I'll add the new data source and it will be SQL Server. I'll click on edit. So let me give the same server name over here. I'll use SQL authentication. I'll type the username, then I'll type the password. I'll save this password. Right now I'll select the database from this. So database is fired up. I'll test the connection and the connection has been successfully made. I'll click on OK, again and OK. Right, so we have successfully selected our database. Now it's time to select our data set. So I'll click on add new data set and I'll type the query over here. Now I would want to select all of the records from the student table. So for that, I'll type select star from dbo.student. Let me click on OK. Right. So you see that we've also got a data set over here. Now it's time to do some reporting. So I'll click on reports, I'll click on add, and I'll select a new item. And since you would want to report, we'll click over here. I'll add a new report. All right. So what we'll basically do is we'll build a bar graph to understand the marks scored by various students. So let me insert a new chart over here and I'll select this bar graph over here. Right. So time to select a data set, which will be data set to one. Now I'll give the values. So the value will be S sub one. That is the mark scored by all of the students in subject one. I'll select this. Right. And for this, the category groups, I'll give the name. Let me actually increase the size of the graph a bit. Now let me preview this. All right. So what we see is the marks of the six students in the first subject. And what we can clearly see is Anne has scored the highest marks and Matt has scored the lowest marks. Now we'll go ahead and add the next subject as well so that we can do some more comparison. All right now, let's click on preview. All right, so when it comes to subject two, Jeff is the highest scorer and Matt again is the lowest scorer, which seems like doesn't study at all. Again, let's go to design and add the third subject as well. I'll click on S sub 3. I'll click on preview. So now for the third subject, again, it's Jeff who has scored the highest. And again, it's Matt who has scored the lowest. Right. So this was some visualization with the help of SSRS tool. And this also brings us to the end of this demo. Now we'll look at MSBI job trends. So in a survey done by Gartner, MSBI ranks at a pretty good position in the BI tools category. And also plenty of companies use MSBI. In today's market, companies are looking for suitable candidates who have a complete mastery of MSBI. The average salary for MSBI developer ranges from approximately $82,000 to $95,000. So are you excited about a career in MSBI? If you want to fast track your career in MSBI, join IntelliPath's MSBI certification training program. And thank you for watching the video. For any inquiries, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching the video. Do like and share it. If you have any questions, comment below and we'll respond to them as soon as possible. Also, do subscribe to IntelliPath channel so that you can keep yourself updated on the latest technologies. You can also go through other related videos in our playlist. And for more information, visit our website. Keep learning, keep improving.